Tony D and Little Joan in the background, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Lullaby, a monster movie uh, about Lilith. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I was getting all horny and then, ah! Anyhow, uh, this is Lilith. And the premise of this movie is this woman uh, finds an ancient lullaby and sings it to her baby, but she... It's a, it's a, it was supposed to be a lullaby to protect children from Lilith, the, the, the biblical demonic uh, creature. And uh, instead, uh, Lilith has reworked the uh, lullaby so it summons her. And now she's summoned Lilith and now Lilith is haunting her. And there's a million scares with the baby and her. and uh, So it's basically saved the baby. Save the baby from Lilith. No child is safe. No, no, no one's safe. And she gets pulled into a mirror and all sorts of they're screaming. And eh, it's called lullaby. You know, I'm not overly impressed by this. It seems like it seems like an overpowered monster movie. This is another one that I I don't think it's Jewish mysticism, but it does connect into biblical mysticism. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, it feels like a little, a little light on the details, you know? I mean, it does connect into what's ostensibly an old, uh, tale, folk tale, you might call it, or religious tale. And, uh, but it kind of, it kind of feels like she just made a mistake and now she's being haunted by a demon and then the demon's like super powerful. Like, it feels like it should have been something a lot more elaborate. Like, like maybe the way they could have set it up is she is one of these moms who goes way too far in her gender reveal parties and all sorts of things. And so she goes too far finding a lullaby. Like, I don't know, goes to Egypt and digs it out of the ground and then has a translate. Like, something like that. Something a little more... The setup, I think, needs to be more fantastic to justify the power level of Lilith that seems virtually unlimited. And that's always a problem with horror movies, at least for me. The, the, the creatures or demons or whatever seem to have too much power. And it's like, well, if the demon can do this or that, why didn't he just take the baby and call it a day? If that's their ultimate goal. You know, like, unless it's the sort of thing where they're trying to get you to do it or drive you crazy or something like that, you know, so they, they just keep, keep bringing you up to the line where you might actually go, ah, oh, it's a monster. Oh, wait, it's a baby. You know, something like that. <clears throat> it just feels, if <clears throat> the Lilith character feels overpowered in this short trailer. And it's very tropey. Um, you know, in terms of the monster, you know, it just feels very tropey. Uh, you know, the quick cuts, the, you know, the cuts to security camera footage and she's there and it's like, you know, I, I just not really digging this. It's also coming out in 2022, which means it's coming out for Christmas. It's, man, this, it, this couldn't be the worst Look, it's bad enough to release a horror movie during Christmas. To release one that attacks children, I, I can't think of anything worse to release. You know, because Christmas is a time for families. On top of the fact, I think I've told this story before, my friend, who was the biggest horror fan on two feet, he can't watch children in danger movies anymore, ever since he had a kid. So, and I think a lot of parents feel that way, especially ones with babies. So, who's, who's this movie for? Who is this movie for? Is this for, I, I, I guess it's for teenagers, but, you know, teenagers, I think, will find it hard to relate to the characters who have a kid. Um, although they might be like, oh, scary, having a baby. I, you know, 
in, w in which case, if if they're that, I don't know, indoctrinated uh, 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 to the negativity of having a family, then they'll, then like the danger isn't there, and then the mo the whole premise of the movie doesn't really relate to them. The people who could relate to the danger, I don't think would want to see this kind of movie. So I think uh, I think they've made a tactical error in making this movie on, on a lot of levels. It's a dumb time to release it. The subject matter would be a tough sell on a, even a good day. And uh, it, 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 quite frankly, it doesn't look that great. It looks the, the, the balance of power between Lilith and the characters seemed completely out of whack. And it seems like it was, oh, uh, I, I said Lilith by mistake. Ah, she's here. That's the level of, you know, summoning. It, it, like, oh, you make a mistake, boy. Yeah, Lilith's, Lilith's coming. <laughs> Everybody knows that. So, um, yeah, I'm just not digging it. Sorry. You know, it's a low-budget thing. I, I, I normally root for the low-budget guys. It just seems... It just seems not not a good idea on just about every level. Not that it's poorly produced or anything. It seems fine. Um, it's a little tropey, and again, in terms of what you see in this. So, you know, back in the day, they had a movie called Rosemary's Baby, which was very scary, but it was presented in a different way. You know, back in those days, almost all movies were presented with a very good sort of level of reality you know one where we would see the characters and who they were and what their thoughts and feelings were and then things would start to happen nowadays it's like boom <laughs> and for some movies that's great and i was always a proponent of like hitting the ground running and starting with the thing not for every single movie. For a movie like a horror movie like this, it required, a, I think, a little more finesse to make this work. So, that's it for me. Tony D and Little John. Oh, wait. I should do the three-act breakdown. And it's pretty, pretty standard. First act, I don't know. They're having a baby. Establish the characters. She sings the lullaby. And then weird stuff starts to happen. They go to a religious guy. He says, oh, you've sung this lullaby that summoned Lilith instead of chasing her away. You've been tricked. Now you can't undo it. Or you have to do X, Y, and Z to undo it. And maybe they believe it, maybe they don't. And things get worse and worse and worse. And then in Act 3, it's the final confrontation between Lilith and the characters. And I assume they win. But... Do you really win in a horror movie? <laughs> There's money in it, you don't. Anyhow, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. Um, the live stream will be at 7 o'clock tonight. We, we've moved that to 7. Sunday's at 7 for the live stream. We're going to talk about Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Definitely got to talk about Black Panther. We'll talk about uh, a certain ex-president coming back to a certain platform. And uh, whatever else we feel like. So, hope to see you at 7.